What is up, Trouble Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do MLG photo booth effects in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this tutorial, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Okay, so we're going to be working with this and the first thing I recommend doing is work out where you want effects to be appearing. So I'm just going to go through and split it. So when he says Killer Keemstar, I want an effect to be happening here. So then I want an effect to be happening here when he says let's get right into the news. And then when he says news, I want another effect, so I just split it there. And the way I'm splitting it, I'm just left clicking and S on my keyboard. So that is what we have set out. So that means there's going to be three different effects in here. For this, of course, we will need video effects. If you don't see video effects, then simply come to view Windows layout and select default layout. And now you can see there is a bunch of different things here that you can work with and you can just play around with it yourself. Now the first thing I'm going to do is add a swirl. So I'm going to actually add on a... Just add on a maximum swell right here and you can see we can uh, sort this out to how we want it okay so I'm happy with that part so now he's gonna be talking okay now the next thing on this part I want it to just zoom into his face I'm gonna come to the end of the clip and just go back one keyframe I'm gonna come to the event panel graph make sure sync curse is checked over here and I'm just gonna zoom into his face just like this and I'm gonna copy the last keyframe here and I'm gonna paste it onto the next one the next clip so I'm gonna come to the start on position control V and as you can see it's pasted so now these two clips are gonna be in the same angle after the zoom in the next thing I'm gonna be adding is sphere rise over here and I'm actually gonna add on the default one I'm gonna drag it on this <laughs> as you'll see this is probably the main MLG one that loads people like uh, you can see we can give him a big alien head and stuff like that. This, uh, I'm sure this one's a popular one. I've seen videos of him like this. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have it on his nose like that. And you can choose the amount of hair how you want it. So it's completely up to you. You can also um, animate it. So we can start it at maybe all the way back. If you press this button right here, it says animate, and then you come to the end of the clip and you put it all the way up, you will now see, if I just turn this down, that effect will like zoom in. Just like that. So like his head's inflating basically, <laughs> like that. And um, yeah, the next thing, uh, I'm actually going to add an effect on this part as well. So instead of it just zooming in, I'm actually going to add an effect. I don't know what effect, but of course we can just look through and see what effect is good. Now I'm only going to be showing you video effects that are actually uh, default with Sony Vegas, so I'm not going to be showing you effects that I've installed. Okay, I've decided I'm just going to go ahead and add this uh, sphere size in again, and this time, let's see, I'll just have on the default one again. And yeah, now look at that upper chest though, oh my god he's been working out. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna animate this one so it like moves around so I'll start it off there oh okay now he's gone fat okay uh, we're gonna just uh, animate it so it goes up to his face so again we're gonna press this button it says animate and now you can see this plus here this is the center so it's also here as well so you can animate from here and I'm just gonna drag it up to his face uh, like that and I'm going to add a keyframe here, so then it should change like that. And then I'm going to add one more where the amount is all the way off. Maybe like, oh, oh, there we go, now we're getting some good effects. You really just have to play around with it because it's just little movements that give us a different type of effects. So let's just play through what we've created. Okay, so that is what we've done. Uh, I'm actually going to change the last clip. I'm going to put the, this keyframe at the start so his nose is just big straight away, like that. 
and I'm also going to be adding making this part zoomed in so we can actually see the swirl on his face and stuff so you can mess with the amount and see how you want it I want to have it like that when you want it really loud so so you want the the uh, audio to almost be distort uh, let's just pick a place here okay I'll have it on Killer Keemstar I'm gonna drag the audio track down so it's on another audio track we're gonna put the gain here all the way up we can also come here to the effects and we're going to press this down button and look for bass boost so as you'll see it will give us this you can put the one all the way up and if we X out of this uh, a warning now turn your headphones down because this part right here is gonna be very loud so let's just play through what is up, Trouble Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. But anyway, that is how you do it. As you can see, it was very simple to do. Uh, you just mess around with the video effects. You can, uh, you've can. you got a lot to mess with, to be honest. Uh, even with just this one here, you can do a lot of different effects just with this one effect here. And... Same with, what's it, the swirl, the swirl, you can mess with that as well. One last thing, maybe add a TV stimulator. We'll add the TV look onto the intro. Uh, yeah, hopefully it's not looking bad. Okay, so now if we play through it, this is the final thing I've just done. What is up, Trouble Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. So that is how you create it. It was very simple to do. And as you'll see uh, at the start, I just added the TV simulator effect. I had the TV look and the bad sync. If you want the uh, settings for that, this is what I put on for the TV simulator. This is for the uh, bad sync. This is the settings for my TV look. And then the other settings, for example, for the swirl, this is my settings here. The uh, settings for this one, uh, of course it was moving so the first keyframe it was just the default as you add it on but I dragged it down the second keyframe again it was the list uh, all the way up I just dragged it up the third keyframe I turned it all the way down so it gave a zoom out effect and then on the last one it was the sphero size uh, as you can see I made the amount just all the way up and I positioned it to his face and again it was right at the start so that is how easy it is to add MLG photo booth effects in Sony Vegas. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.